everyone. Today we are going to read a couple of nonfiction news stories about runners. And I want you to listen carefully because some of the details you're going to answer some questions about on the template and do a little comparison as well. The first one is Real Life Winners 1. Ivan Fernandez Anaya of Spain was running a cross-country race in Navarra, Spain. He was about to come in second behind Abel Mutai of Kenya, but suddenly Abel began slowing down just as he approached the finish line. Abel did not speak Spanish, so he got confused by the signs and thought he had already won. Ivan saw what was happening in an instant and could have easily darted past his opponent to win the race himself. Instead, he slowed his own pace and pointed Abel toward the real finish line, even pushing him toward it so he could win. Ivan was later asked, why did you let him win? He was the rightful winner, Ivan explained. He created a gap that I couldn't have closed if he hadn't made a mistake. As soon as I saw that he was stopping, I knew I wasn't going to pass him. I could have won, but what merit would it be? What would my mother think? Ivan's actions showed extraordinary sportsmanship. The second story is very similar. Real Life Winners 2. In a similar story from 2012, Megan Vogel of Ohio had just won a big high school state championship race in the 1600 meters. Later, it was time to run the next, much harder race. As Megan approached the finish line, the runner ahead of her, a younger athlete named Arden McMath, collapsed. Instead of passing her, Megan ran over to Arden picked her up and helped her cross the finish line, pushing her just a little bit ahead of herself. Although Megan placed last in that race, she was first in sportsmanship that day. On your template, you're going to answer three questions. The instructions say, listen to the nonfiction stories, which you've just done, then use a text box to answer the questions. Number one, why did the runner from Kenya almost lose his race even though he was far ahead? Number two, what did Megan Vogel do when she saw the other girl fall? And then three, in both races, the athletes who helped could have passed by and won their races. Why do you think they chose to stop and help instead? For these answers, I want more than just a word or two. I want you to really think it out and give me a good strong couple of sentences that tell what you think about the stories that you read. Think about the main characters in those stories. Even though it was real life, there was a problem, there was a solution, and they handled it the way they thought best. That's what I want you to think about and comment about on these questions. All right. I'll wait to see your answers.